Hey everyone, Michael here for PremiumBeat.com. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to recreate these Dunkirk-inspired titles in just minutes. So I'm actually going to do this twice, once in Premiere Pro and once in Final Cut Pro. So whichever NLE you're working on, uh, this works in just about everything, but I'm just going to show you the easiest way to do these in uh, Premiere and Final Cut. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Shutterstock.com to find a beach clip. Uh, you can use any kind of clip if you have one already. Essentially, I'm looking for something straight from the original Dunkirk titles where you have a hint of waves. So I'm going to scan these real quick. This one looks actually pretty good. So I'm going to go this one right here. I'll go ahead and download that. And while that's downloading, I'm going to go into Premiere and get things ready. All right, let's get started in Premiere Pro. So the first thing I'm going to do is I need to import the clip that I just downloaded. So I'm just going to hit Command-I. It's going to bring up my Downloads folder. Grab the Shutterstock clip I just got. So we have our beach footage here. I'm just going to drag that into our timeline. So now that we've got our beach clip in our timeline, uh, let's go ahead and hop over into the Graphics panel. So if you've got at least Premiere Pro 2017, you'll have the Essential Graphics panel in here. And we're just going to create a new text layer. And let's just call this Premium Beat. Uh, and what we want to do is go here. Let's go ahead and center that. That'll work. And that looks pretty good. So let's hop over back into the editing panel. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to move our graphic. We're going to extend it all the way to the end of the video. And we're going to actually move this up to V3. And we want to duplicate this clip here. So I'm going to hold down Option on my Mac. It'll be the Alt key if you're PC. Hold that down and just drag the clip up and it'll duplicate it. So we have two instances of the beach clip underneath our text. So now we need to go over into our effects panel. And what we want to add here is a track mat key. So just to track. And we're going to put this here on V2 on the second instance of our beach footage. So now if we go into our effects controls, you're going to see our track mat key here. We're going to go over to mat. We're going to change the mat to video three. And what that's going to do is it might look like your text just disappeared, but that's because we have this bottom layer still visible. So if I hide this, you're actually going to see now we have all the font with the beach clip behind it. So if I played through that, you're just going to see now very similar to what you'd see in the Dunkirk titles with the waves crashing in the background. And to finalize this, Let's go ahead and just center everything. If our mat is actually on the second one, what we want to do here is move the second clip. So if we click on V2, let's go over to our position and we're going to move that down. And that looks about center there. So now we have this nice, clean, premium beat Dunkirk inspired title. All right, now let's do the exact same thing again, but this time in Final Cut Pro. Uh, it's a little bit different, but it's Actually, I think a little bit faster. So I'm going to do the same thing to begin with. I'm going to hit Command-I to import. I'm going to grab my Shutterstock clip. We're going to bring that into the timeline. And now I'm going to go up here to the Title tool. So I'm going to hit Titles. Uh, a basic title will work for this. Uh, it's nothing complicated, so we're going to add that. Oh, let's just nudge that back here. Uh, and we're going to extend this once again, same as the length of the clip. And now let's go into our title settings. So I'm going to double click basic title. Same thing. Let's just call this premium beat again. Premium beat. Uh, let's make our text bigger. That'll work. And let's just use the same font again, just so you can see that it does look the exact same. And we'll do bold again. Um, let's make it a little bit bigger. Uh, and while we're at it, let's just uh, adjust the tracking, maybe just kind of space it out a little bit there. And then we're going to go up here to the video inspector, click on that. And we're actually going to change our blend mode. So if you go to your blend mode, you click the drop down. The one we're looking for is actually right here, stencil alpha. So if you click that, you're immediately going to have it inverted. You're going to have your black background. So now if I go back and play it, there are your waves and we're done. 
All right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you're looking for the actual music that I used in the trailer played at the beginning, it's available on Premium Beat. It's called The Remaining by Emmett Cook, and I actually used loop number six to play that nice somber intro. So if that's what you're looking for, there you can find it. If you ever need any more help, be sure to check us out here on the Premium Beat blog for more tips, tutorials, and all sorts of video editing and production news. Thanks again. This is Michael for PremiumBeat.com. Thank you.